All right, welcome back, my dear students. So it's time for us to start, uh, you know, converting the other form we have, the edit for form. Okay, so let's go to our edit form, and that's what we got here. Okay, so now if you want, you can go ahead and bring this whole thing from over there here and paste it in there, and you can do the rest just to get an idea, right, guys? edit here okay and you can do that if you want now you don't need this anymore all right because we can do that up here all right so cool so now we have the title and we can take that off and the submit button let's go get the one from here now I'm gonna show you another way of actually not having to do this all the time guys it's it's a simpler way by using templates from PHP storm if you already have PHP storm you can use a little uh, command on your keyboard and produce this whole thing right away so that way you don't you don't have to do that I'll show you in a minute how to do that uh, but let's go back here and take get rid of this and let me see what okay we have this all right so let's actually start editing this let's do it manually or over here and oops and let's do form submit that's the first parameter is the submit the name whatever name you want um, we can give it um, update post that's what it says on, on the bottom there update post and the second parameter could be the class and we're gonna name this um, class and it's gonna be a BTN BTM primary or info okay make sure that you have your little arrow here okay cool so I think that's that's good enough for that all right and we can take this off but what happens every time I take that off I get this error for some reason that's weird let me see remove extra closing tag we have another tag huh okay let's just um, oh I see we have this um, no we don't let's go back here and get the form closing tag and let's paste it in there and that way we can take that off okay cool all right so we have the same form almost we have to edit it a little bit and this one here okay we're gonna make this called patch all right and the action is going to be instead of store is going to be update okay same controller because that's what we are using now we're going to do something really nice on this lecture here. I'm going to show you about um, form uh, binding, model binding, all right? And I'll show you that in a minute how to do that. Let's go back to edit and let's see how that changed, all right? So I'm going to click here and all right, we got a mistake there. And I'll, I'll, I can see where the mistake is. I thought it was gonna give me the form and so I, I was I was gonna be able to show you what was wrong with it but I'm gonna have to do it anyway so what we're gonna do here is I'll just do the model binding right away guys so that way you know okay so for model binding what model binding is gonna do is gonna give us the ability to repopulate the form with the data from the database okay so if I do model here and I'm gonna pass the post comma because that's the object right 
So I pass that and I come here to this action. I'm going to create another array here. All right. And inside here, I'm going to pass in the post ID. Now it should work here. Enter, and now you can see that the form works. Okay. I thought it was going to let me show it to you with, with, without actually inputting all that information, but it won't let me since I had to put some type, since I changed the method. Okay. Um, all right, cool. So as you can see, we were able to repopulate the form. All right, and if I do this, update the form, you can see that it's updating nicely. All right, let's go back, update post. All right, so I hope you see what it's doing. We changed the function from open to model, all right? And then we pass in as a first parameter the object, all right? The second parameter was a, an array with another array inside, that way we can actually put the ID there. So all this information, this data is being sent basically very secure. It's not being sent in the URL, all right? So when you edit stuff, all right, we click update post, all right? It's updating through patch, okay? Laravel is actually preventing SQL injection, anything that you think um, could hurt us from outside, all right? Anything, Laravel, it's very secure. We don't have to do any escaping, anything at all. Everything is being done for us, all right? So that way we can focus in building the application instead of, uh, you know, worrying about if somebody's gonna hack our application or anything like that. Cool, so now let's, let's do this one as well. We have the delete here, and for delete, we're gonna do something very similar. So I'm gonna copy this whole thing right here. All right, the only thing we delete is that we don't need open, we don't need to pass anything, any second array or anything like that. So we're going to delete all that. And here we're just going to say destroy. Okay. And for patch, instead of patch, we're just going to say delete like this. And we don't need this. We need a submit button, so I'm going to copy this little guy right here. We need a form, a closing tag for form. Copy that. And this one is just going to delete it. Delete. And just for future reference, we're going to change the class to danger. Okay, cool. Let's go and check it out real quick. Enter AngularJS. All right, we forgot something. As a matter of fact, we do need to pass in the um, second array right here because we need the ID. I almost forgot. Okay, oops. All right, cool. So, post ID. All right. All right, let's check it out real quick. Enter, there we go. AngularJS, gone, example, gone as well. So it's, everything is working working really good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been a really good uh, section for you to get your hands dirty with forms. And uh, we're going to continue. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lectures.